This video will show you how to make smoke follow a path in Blender, please watch up to the very end. When you open Blender, first select the default cube. Go to Modifier Properties and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Come here and increase the viewport levels to 3. Now press Tab to go to the Edit Mode. Click here to turn on X-ray visibility then come and select these top vertices. Press S to scale them down. Select the bottom faces 2 and press E then Z to extrude them down along the Z. Press S to scale them down. Press E to extrude these vertices down. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Come to Modifier Properties and click on this drop-down arrow, then apply this Subdivision Surface Modifier. You can turn off X-ray visibility for now. Now come to the Modifier Properties and add a Displace Modifier. Now scroll down here and go to Texture Properties. Click on New to add a new texture. Come here and change type to Clouds. Now go back to Modifier Properties. You can reduce the strength a little bit. Change Texture Coordinate from Local to Global. Now if you press G you'll see that the displacement changes as you move it. So press Shift A and go to Curve then add a Bezier Circle. Press Tab to go to the Edit Mode. Press A to select all then click on this X to go to a side view. Press R then 90 to rotate by 90 degrees. Now click on this Y to go to the other side view. Press S to scale it up then click on these nodes and press G as you spread them out to make a path of your liking. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Select this object and go to the modifier properties then add a curve modifier. Click on this eyedropper and select the curve as the curve object. Come here on Deform Axis and select the Z as your Deform Axis. Now our shape looks perfectly aligned on the curve. So press S to scale it down to a reasonable size. Now if you press G along the Z you can see that it perfectly follows the curve as it moves. Now expand on the timeline and activate this auto keying button. Press G then Z to move it to your favorite starting point. Go to frame 100 and press G then Z to move it to an end point. Now come here and reduce the frame range to 100. Now if you press the space button to play it you can see it moving perfectly along a curve. Click up here to switch to material preview. Press Shift A and got to volume then add empty. Come to modifier properties and add a mesh to volume modifier. Click on this eyedropper on object and select this as the object. Now if I disable the cube's visibility you can see that there is some smoke volume. So now let's switch to render preview. Now if you play it you can see that the smoke is moving along a curve. Come to the world properties and give it a dark color. Give it a good camera angle and also add some lights around it. To adjust the smoke color, expand on this area and switch it to a shader editor. Make sure this volume is selected then come here and click on new to add a new material. So you can now come to this principled volume shader and go to color then adjust on it. You can now go ahead and render. Thank you so much for watching up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.